Hello there folks and welcome back to Bullets for Bucks. I'm at SHOT Show 2022 with Robert here and Kadex Defense. And it looks like they have some exciting new products kind of designed for hunters this year. So what can you tell me? So uh, to kind of get down to the heart uh, of the rifle, we're at Kadex, we're known for our chassis. So that's why I'm, I'm gonna show you the chassis first. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll move into the rifle. Typically, if we make a chassis, we do a rifle skew uh, with, that pairs with that chassis. Um, this particular item that I'm holding right now is our Tundra Strike. Um, a couple of neat little little notes just to hit on. Mm -hmm. um, it's got on the bottom a, uh, a an in integral magwell. Uh, okay. It's not a it's not a bottom metal. Um, the neat thing about it is you can run a CIP length Magnum right. uh, magazine, and then it comes with a plug that you can mm -hmm. orientate 180 out either direction cool. for the shorter subsequent right. mag lengths. Uh, Another cool thing is the barrel channel. It's got an insert in it, so if you're running a lighter contoured barrel, it takes up that space for okay. aesthetics. Uh, and then if you're running a heavier contoured barrel, you take that out and it really? gives you a little bit more room. Oh, that's cool. Uh, for clearance. Uh, as far as the inner workings of the chassis itself, you have two uh, beefier pillar blocks. They're kind of like mm -hmm. pillar blocks on steroids. Okay. Um, when we make those, we inject and mold around both of them and there's a bridged piece of aluminum so that way when we take it out of the mold and everything is cured we machine out that part okay. and they're perfectly collimated for the action of sooner well that's pretty unique i don't think i've ever seen that uh, design in any other rifle um, i imagine it probably makes it a little bit lighter than it otherwise would be it is um, it's a pretty light stock mm -hmm. uh, as far as the rifles um kind yeah. of kind of segueing back here uh, we are not the lightest on the market but uh, in my opinion we're the best uh, and the best looking. Right. So up top we have the uh, Bartline uh, carbon fiber barrels. Very nice. Uh, we, off we offer those, that's the uh, Tundra Strike Carbon or the CDXR7 Carbon. Uh, and then we have our uh, stainless steel barrels um, that we actually make in house. The neat thing about Kadex as a whole, as a general statement uh, or plug if you will, is we are one of a very, very short list okay. of manufacturers. I can honestly say uh, without sacrificing my personal integrity, less the scope on the, this this rifle right here. We make 100% of this gun. We do the barrel from blank, uh, uh, end rifling, to contour, to threaded. We do the action 100%. We do our trigger 100%. That's in house, and then the chassis as well that I just uh, I just briefed. And on. I see. So this has got a little bit of straight fluting in it. Uh, I don't know what profile. This is maybe like a number two? It's or? I, uh, probably a number two, number three okay. Sendero somewhere in there. And it just, does it come with muzzle brake? It comes and with the brake, yeah. Okay. And I mean, I imagine, is this 5 8 by 24 on this model? That's I, correct. I so, yeah, you could throw a lightweight can okay. on there and be right as rain for um, And this is the R7 hunting series. Yes. Um, I guess tell me a little bit about the action as well. The, the so the action's kind of a neat thing. It's a. Uh, the R7, what it stands for, it's a, it, it, it is a true Remington 700 footprint. Okay. Um, you get some people that get mixed up and they, you know, it, it may be a little bit more of a misnomer thrown around when they say it's a Remington 700 right. footprint. Right. The assumption is that everything is Remington 700, but this is 100% organic to Kadex as far as the internals. It's a three lug bolt design. Um, it's got a, a 60 degree throw, so it's a much shorter throw than a traditional Remington 700. Um, the base profile on the top, that's ours as well. So the base actually has bosses that sit down into the action. That act as recoil lugs when you put the scope on top of it. Um, the trigger, to kind of downshift from the action, the trigger is two stage and single stage. Okay. So it can be converted by the end user wow. from a single or a two. So you can kind of pick the flavor you like and run with it. The adjustment, the weight adjustments up through the bottom, and then the actual trigger shoe placement, you can move forward or back for the dexterity and purchase of your trigger finger. Wow, that's pretty unique. I've only, I think the, ol the only adjustment I've seen where you can move the tr trigger back and forth on a factory rifle is, is Seiko, to be honest. Either but, that uh, or an end shoot. Or yeah. Um, so how, how light can you adjust the trigger? You can get them down to a pound on the, uh, with the single stage con uh, configuration and then up to two and a half for those that like them a little heavier. All right, that's pretty cool. I like the fact that it's a shorter bolt throw. Um, running the action, it's very, very smooth. Uh, one of the smoother ones I've ever felt. Um, it's spiral fluted, spiral fluted right here um, along the bolt and it looks like it has a safety now. 
If it's when it's on safe, does it lock the bolt or not? It does not. Lock it does bolt. not lock the bolt. Okay. So our, our more tactical uh, design rifles, it's a it's a bolt uh, bolt shroud safety, okay. and that will lock the bolt. Down. Okay. Um, and looks like it has some nice texturing. This is like a rubberized uh, grip right here, which is nice. I imagine for hunting that way, if your hand gets wet or something, you're not going to lose traction on it. Yes. Yeah, so um, they have the hand group uh, that you were just referencing. Um, some. Uh, just mainly for aesthetics and feel we've got them embedded up and towards the front too uh, for branding purposes have that uh, on the left and right side and then a nice little embossed logo on the bottom that's rubberized as well right and it looks it looks pretty uh, slick it's not too heavy that you couldn't use it for hunting I uh, imagine you know the weight is probably a little bit heavier on one or the other um, what barrel lengths does it come in um, we have a pretty good assortment of barrel lengths uh, on the magnum calibers obviously they're a little longer uh, with some of the short action family, um, I think they'll go the 20s, the shortest, and I think we go out to 26. Okay. And um, what can you give me like what is the the going price roughly for this, or what is it going to be? Off the top of my head, just because I crammed in a ton of information, I don't want to I don't want to put my feet to the fire. But if you do, you guys do have any questions on pricing, uh, you can either check out our website, which is kdexdefense.com, okay. kdex with a C, uh, not at the S. Uh, or email me at robert.p at kdex.com okay. and I'll get right back to your viewers. Well, it looks fantastic. The action, like I said, is really smooth. Uh, I did test the trigger out uh, before video and it was very crisp and, and light. So it felt like an excellent action and receiver. Um, so thank you, uh, Robert, for talking to us. I appreciate about you stopping by.